I like big s and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Hey everybody, I'm Justin with VMP Performance. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about boost. I wanna talk about overdrive balancer pulleys for the 2020 Shelby GT500 engine and how you can make boost a lot more boost and the parts that VMP offers to do just that. Everybody's been talking about upper pulleys on the new Predator 5.2 liter engine. Don't discount the balancer pulley. Track Attack has had a four pound lower balancer pulley on it for over a month now. And that's how we got to a thousand rear wheel horsepower on the stock upper pulley. So the 20% overdrive balancer pulley that's been on Track Attack is one of our off the shelf 10 rib supercharger pulleys we've been making for years. However, the new GT500 engine is eight rib. So we went back to the drawing board, actually the computer, and we modeled up some lower balancer pulleys that are eight rib, have lips on both sides for easy installation of the belt so you don't have to try to line it up. And we're test fitting them on the 5.2 liter Predator engine today. And we're gonna go over the offerings and the performance levels and the other parts you'll need to successfully complete an overdrive balancer swap on the new GT500 engine. This is the balancer that we used on Track Attack during R&D. We use an ATI Super Damper balancer. It's got all the dampening functionality in this front accessory belt. And then what is often called the AC belt is the rear pulley that drives the supercharger and the AC. The rear AC pulley can be easily interchanged. And once again, we've been doing that for years with our VMP eight and 10 rib kits for the Coyote. The GT500 warranted some new offerings, some streamlining, and uh, some improvements. When you get in there and change the balancer pulley, you're going from a six and a half inch stock balancer pulley to as large as an eight and a half inch 30% overdrive balancer pulley. And there's some things that get in the way, tensioners and other stuff. Luckily, not a whole lot gets in the way. This really isn't a difficult swap. The first balancer pulley I have is the 10% overdrive. 10% is roughly equivalent to about two, two and a half pounds of boost. Each 5% is about one pound of boost, and the 2650 TVS loves picking up boost, especially if it's ported, like our Joker's Performance CNC ported blower. So that's why I say you might pick up a little bit more than two pounds. Anytime you're on the, the front end of the curve, you stand to gain more than the back end where the returns are a little bit diminishing. This guy right here is going to bolt up to the back of the ATI hub, you're gonna press it on. You're gonna to change to a low profile accessory tensioner, which I'll show you in a minute, and install a slightly longer belt, and away you go with two pounds more boost, leaving your supercharger pulley completely stock and untouched with the clutch functionality intact that is built into the factory supercharger pulley. Option two is a 20% overdrive balancer pulley. I think this is gonna be our most popular option Listen, if you want two pounds of boost, you'd probably be happy with four pounds of boost. I mean, I like big. I cannot lie. This guy right here is still gonna use the VMP super low profile tensioner pulley to make room for it. Like I said, I'll show you that in a minute. And then we get into the King Mamba here. 30% overdrive, 8.5 inches, about six pounds of boost. If you put this on here and you only get four pounds of boost, don't call us if you have a stock air box, a stock cold air, a stock throttle body, a stock port, but if your system can breathe, man, six pounds of boost, over a hundred rear wheel horsepower, it'll be awesome. It requires a little bit of modification. It's really, really big. You're gonna have to use our upgraded belt tensioner to make sure there is enough clearance around the pulley and you actually have to drill a small hole in the front cover and clock the accessory tensioner over to make clearance. I'll show you guys that. You can decide if it's something you want to do or not, but uh, not for the faint of heart, but it does bring the big boost and the big horsepower numbers. For easy development of pulleys and stuff like that, this hub has actually been opened up. It slip fits on the crankshaft. Normally at home, this will require a whole lot more effort. And this balancer pulley being plastic is just gonna kinda 
slide on here. Been on a few times. Got to make sure the gap is tight. Now we're ready to put this on the engine and see how it fits. We've got the 30% lower balancer ring and ATI hub swapped on here. We can see that this is a big mofo. Now, when we redes redesigned this to eight rib, the, there's actually plenty of clearance up to the front cover. There's no grinding or anything required with the 30% overdrive eight rib version. This is our super low profile accessory tensioner. You'll actually take your stock accessory tensioner pulley, bolt it up here, it's reverse thread, so don't strip the threads out. And then you will have to drill and tap a hole on the front cover. Now this is only for the 30% overdrive version. The 10 and 20% versions are totally bolt on, but I figured I'd start with the biggest version first and show everybody that. Hey, at least you know it's possible if you wanna go for that big, big boost. So we've got this low profile accessory tensioner. You have to drill a new hole in your front cover. You do this with the engine sealed. It's an eight millimeter tap. It's a 516 drill bit. It's really not a big deal, but like I said, it's not entirely bolt on. Come down here, I'll show you what's going on. This is the uh, critical clearance right here. You've got to be able to slide a belt over the balancer. And this is why we have to make this super low profile accessory tensioner and why we have to drill the new hole in the front cover to make room. If I had a piece of belt, I'd slide it in there and show you. But that's basically the idea. The belt's about 3 16ths of an inch wide. You can see we've got a big enough gap there to make that happen. These are the supercharger belt tensioners. Stock VMP. The VMP is billet aluminum. It's lighter weight. It uses this smaller idler pulley. The idler pulley is lightweight, hard anodized aluminum. This black coating won't come off because it's hard anodized. This is a necessity with the 30% overdrive and it is recommended with the 20% and the 10% overdrive. So this does a couple things for us. The lighter weight gives us less mass, more spring pressure, and it actually is clocked slightly differently on the front cover to give us more throw for that larger diameter balancer. Come in here and let me show you. As you can see, this is the really big thing. You've got to have clearance right here and you've got to be able to have the tensioner work. So with the new clocking angle and the smaller idler pulley, there is plenty of throw for that tensioner to do its job. I'll throw the stock tensioner on there just so you can see how tight and uh, way less than optimal it is. So you can see the stock tensioner, not a whole lot of travel before we hit the balancer pulley. Uh, not a whole lot of spring pressure in it either. And that is not really a good situation when you're trying to make that big boost. So we're gonna pull off this 30% overdrive. If you look right down here, you can see that extra hole we drilled. We're gonna go ahead and install this low profile tensioner in the factory hole. So putting that low profile tensioner back on the front cover in the stock location sets us up for the 20% overdrive lower, which is the complete bolt-on, no modifications required option that I think is gonna be the most popular. All right, so our 20% overdrive balancer is on and man it's small compared to that big blue 30 percent but it is right at home there's room there to get a belt in there we'll actually slip a belt on there to show you once this belt goes on there it's going to drop into the grooves and it's going to have plenty of room and it's going to be happy there we go so we can see plenty of light through there. And uh, like I said, this is gonna be the, what I think is gonna be the most common and the most highly recommended option. If you wanna pair it with an upper pulley, 
either a uh, conventional or a clutched pulley style you can to make even more boost but this 20 percent overdrive lower will give you four pounds i still want to fit up these tensioners and just kind of show you the swing and the movement and everything else with the 20 percent lower we do have quite a bit more space right there with the stock tensioner you could probably get away with just going to a smaller idler pulley uh, we sell those billet 58 millimeter idler pulleys on our website, but you know, just doing the idler pulley, you're still not getting the benefit of the improved angle and the improved spring pressure of the billet BMP tensioner. So it's really kind of uh, not the best way to do it. We've got tons of swing. We got a nice billet aluminum idler, very fast responding, lightweight, Actually kind of hard for me to push down on. Lots of travel. Lots of travel in the whole setup. <clears throat> this is gonna be two pounds of boost. Nice, safe, comfortable. Only two pounds. Maybe you've already changed the upper pulley on your GT500 and you're just looking for a little bit more but you don't wanna to have to worry about belt slip so 10% overdrive is for you. Hey, if you don't like it, you can always go bigger in the future. We've got the 10% slit on here. You can see there's plenty of room around the tensioner for belt clearance. You're still gonna need that billet low profile tensioner because the stock one is just huge. But uh, yeah, only two pounds of boost. This is the option. Everybody got to see little boost, medium boost, and big boost, along with supporting mods like tensioners that you need to swap these bigger balancer pulleys on. We're hard at work turning these plastic pieces into real billet aluminum pieces. We're going to throw some links down below along with some release dates. You can pre-order these parts if you want to be one of the first to have them. And thanks for watching and learning about overdrive balancer pulleys on the new 5.2 GT500 engine. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.